everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so for today's video um i'm going to be testing some bar knockers with the benjamin maximus at 30 yards 30 35 yards um so for this setup that i have with my benjamin maximus um i do have a decent scope more than decent um it should be a pretty good scope for this rifle um it kind of does add some weight to it which it should kind of a uh, increase a little bit of the harmonics or make this rifle just a little bit more accurate with a little bit more weight as you can see i do have a bubble level here um so for my videos uh, lately i just been um trying to have this gun level all the time i do have i have uh leveled the rifle the scope and then i have adjusted this to be level all the time so yeah this is the scope that i'm using i am using a discovery scope as you can see here um so when i was recording this video um i did not have the regulator installed on the bench with maximus so i was getting a little bit more foot pounds um but the shot spread was just a little bit bigger than with the regulator um the regulator uh, i think it does help in the accuracy um i am able to fill it up to 3000 psi and then shoot it down to 100 and about 1800 or 17 to 1700 around there um, which it's pretty good shot count in my opinion the it has a really small air reservoir but enough for that rifle um so yeah we are going to be shooting the bar knockers 18 19.5 22 and 24 um so yeah i guess just, just let's just get started on the video all right guys um so right now I am shooting the bar knockers. I've already shot the 19.5 grains and right now I am shooting the 22 grains. Um, I have already taken three shots of the 22 grain slugs. But man, these slugs are so damn accurate. I'm only about, about like 30 yards, but it's just like one ragged hole. Um, right now I'm gonna put you guys, so you, so you guys can look at the numbers on the chronograph. Um, I did fill up my Benjamin Maximus up to um, maybe like 1800 PSI, not all the way to 2000 because I do get better performance at a lower pressure. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I'm going to show you right now the numbers and then I'm going to put you by the chronograph so you guys can check out the numbers and yeah, let's get, let's get it. So here we go right, guys. So here are the numbers I have taken so far, 19 grains. 22 as you can see the numbers are pretty consistent in my opinion maybe just this one just a little bit higher as you can see not bad so there, there's the last shot that I took that was with the 22 grains um, I still have two more shots to take at the group and then we will go down there and take a look I'm gonna put you guys right here so you guys can look at the... all right so these are the 22 grains varmint knockers at a pretty slow velocity, but groups are holding pretty damn good. So here we go. It's the same hole. <laughs> Dude, that's in the same hole, so pretty awesome. Alright, let's go downrange and take a look at the groups. As you can see, it's only about 30 yards, not very long distance. Um, but yeah. So, I was aiming dead center. Um, with the 19.5 grain slugs, I hit down here, so I kind of fixed my aim point, uh, sighted it in, and I was sitting dead on, which is pretty good, in my opinion. So, all right, so as you can see, the group is pretty damn good. So the 22 grains. And right now we're going to continue with the 24 grains varmint knockers. And then I'll, I'm going to look for the 18 grains as well. See if we can find them. So yeah. 
All right, so I just refilled my air tank. As you can see, it's not all the way up to 2,000 psi, maybe like uh, 17 to 1,800 psi. Right now, I am going to be shooting the 24 grain varmint knockers, and then I'm going to look for the 18 grain varmint knockers, see if I can find them. So there you go. All right, guys. So here I have the slugs. These are the 24 grain varmint knockers, and then these are here are the 18 grains varmint knockers. As you can see, 24, 18. So I am going to start with the 24. Run, run down write down the numbers and then I'll continue with the 18 grains. So here we go. Alright guys, now we're gonna continue with the 18 grain varmint knockers. So here we go. 18 grains. Here we go. All right, so the groups are not really impressive. Um, the 19.5 and the 22 grains were pretty damn good. Really impressive at 30 yards. Um, I did order like 400 more for the 19.5 grains. So I'm going to do further testing with those. And the 22 and 18 and 24 slugs. Um, probably won't be doing any more testing with them. Okay, so in the video you, you guys just watch, um, you guys kind of heard me saying I'm not going to do any further testing with a few slugs. Um, the reason I'm, I'm not going to do any further testing with some of the slugs is because 18 grains just didn't perform well at 30 yards, which they're not going to perform well at any other distance. Um, the 24 grain slugs are a little bit too long um, to be able to be stabilized by my air rifles. They have a really slow twist rate. so they're not going to be able to be stabilized. The 22s, so with the 22 grain slugs, um, I think they did perform pretty well. Um, I haven't really tested them further distance with this gun yet, um, but they're a little bit more expensive than the 18s and 19.5 grain slugs. Um, they're like uh, same price, but for half of the amount, which is 50. Um, so I might might order a few extra uh, more, um, do a little bit more further testing with them. But the main reason I don't want to test heavier slugs is because um, the faster you shoot the, any slug, it doesn't really matter the weight. The faster you shoot the slug, the easier it's going to maintain its BC or velocity. So you can shoot a really heavy slug, slower velocity. Yeah, you're gonna give them a foot pound. But if you have a lightweight slug going um, 200, 300 feet faster than the heavier slug, it's gonna maintain its BC at longer distance. So that's why I don't really want to uh, continue testing the heavier slugs. But uh, yeah, so the slugs, some of the slugs did perform pretty well. Like I said, I might just order a few more 22 grain slugs and yeah hope you guys liked the video um i do have more videos coming on the way so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next time peace